And what really happened inside the house of a Detroit firefighter when he was killed last December? A heartbreaking story emerging today in court. Good to have you with us for Local 4 News at 5. The picture is of a generous man and a group of people who decided to take advantage of that generosity. Firefighter David Madrigal found dead by his own son after an apparent robbery followed by a vicious beating. Our Sean Lay was in court for today's testimony. Sean, things got pretty intense. You know what? Extremely intense, Devin, inside that courtroom. Here's why. We had the victim's son, David Madrigal Jr., taking the witness stand for the first time, saying what he knows about finding his father dead inside his Detroit house. We had a close friend of the three defendants testifying against them. And then the entire courtroom, as you'll see here, absolutely packed with Detroit firefighters. A massive show of support from the Detroit Fire Department for the family of veteran firefighter David Madrigal. One firefighter keeping Madrigal's photo in his hat. Madrigal was found dead in his Detroit home last December. His son, David Jr., finding his father's body. Um, he was laid back in his recliner with his feet up and uh, blood coming out of his nose, uh, forehead and ears, I think. Madrigal's son said his dad had been depressed and had been drinking. He thought he committed suicide, but then he went upstairs. Uh, his room was just looked like an earthquake hit. The bed was flipped. The dressers were all pulled out. All of his boots, clothes were thrown everywhere. Madrigal's new black SUV was gone. That's where this witness comes in. He says defendant Timmy Soto, and who prosecutors believe was Christopher Rasnick, came to his Detroit home blasting music and laughing in an all-black Ford SUV. A handgun like the one missing from Madrigal's home, the witness says, was on Soto's lap. They had a safe. The witness helped break the safe open. It was 500, 500. He split, and then I asked him, was you going to give me something? And he gave me 100. Defendant Nicole O'Neill comes into this. Police say by allegedly preying on Madrigal's history of helping people in need. They believe Madrigal welcomed all three inside his home and he was beaten to death. Make no mistake, this was tense, with Soto staring at each witness who say they are scared. In the cold in the streets, being a snitch, people will kill you for that kind of stuff. Back here live, we are just scratching the surface of this hearing to see whether or not these three defendants will be moved on to trial. This hearing will continue in the first week of May. I am told there are not confessions, but statements by all three that will be uh, talked about the next time we resume this on May the 4th. Devin Kimberly, back to you. Well, with so much left to go, Sean, do we know what, what, what comes next, who we're going to hear from? Yeah, homicide detectives, they'll be first and foremost coming up next on May the 4th. And then arson investigators as well, because Madrigal's two-week-old brand-new Ford Explorer uh, was found uh, torched right. in a, on a Detroit street. So they'll be discussing that as well. All right, sure. Kim?